Blagojevich. Uh, he was very adamant that he has done nothing wrong. He did a press conference. I'm going to show it to you. We're going to show it to you real quick here. The whole time, think about what he's going to say when he actually pleads guilty. Because there's so much evidence on him, he absolutely will. And if you're not seeing the video, just picture a man with a raccoon on his head, and you'll get a good visual and sense of Rod Blagojevich. So, here you oh. go. Thank you very much. I'm here to tell you right off the bat that I am not guilty of any criminal wrongdoing, that I intend to stay on the job, and I will fight this thing every step of the way. I will fight, I will fight, I will fight until I take my last breath. I have done nothing wrong. Sounds pretty winded already. He does. And I'm not going to quit a job that people hired me to do because of false accusations and a political lynch mob. Now that's what I'm going to do. Let me tell you what I'm not going to do. Get a haircut. I'm not going to do what my accusers and political enemies have been doing. And that is talk about this case in 30 second sound bites on Meet the Press or on the TV news. Now, I'm dying to answer these charges. I am dying to show you how innocent I am. <laughs> That's a great point. And I want to assure everyone who's here, everyone who's listening, that I intend to answer every allegation that, uh, that comes my way. However, I intend to answer them in the appropriate forum in a court of law. And when I do, I am absolutely certain that I will be vindicated. Rudyard Kipling wrote, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, especially and when your head you, is so large, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you and make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating. Now I know there are some powerful forces arrayed against me. It's kind of lonely right now. But I have on my In side fact, what the are you most doing powerful later? ally there is. <laughs> Rudyard the truth. Kipling. <laughs> and besides, I have the personal knowledge that I have not done anything wrong. To the people of Illinois, I ask that they wait and be patient, sit back and take a deep breath, and please Thank reserve you. judgment. Afford me the same rights that you and your children have. The presumption of innocence. Right. The right well, to defend yourself. I, I've heard it. The right I've to your it. day in court. Uh, first he, of all, no parent extends to their children the presumption of innocence. Yeah, have you what been a parent? What kind of father is he? <laughs> right. Look, uh, he tr classic politician. You know, I am so innocent, I can't even begin to tell you. And, you know, I'm like your children. You should like me like your children. Right. You know, nice little analogy there to just get everybody on their side. He even did a poem. The dude did a poem in the middle of a press conference. R yeah, I know, you and Rudyard Kipling. Tell me all about it. I couldn't stop picturing his hair mating with Donald Trump's hair, though. I just couldn't get that image out of my mind, so it ruined the whole thing for me. But here's a contrarian thought about Blagojevich. Blagojevich. Is, uh, did he really say anything on those tapes that 90% of American politicians in his position haven't said 100 times?